All right, hey, Data Factory fans, welcome back. I want to talk to you today about a feature in Data Factory called Enable Incremental Extract. This is for Azure SQL database sources. And what this does is it tells Data Factory to handle the storing of a watermark and querying from your source based on a timestamp automatically. So you don't need to worry about managing it. We do all that heavy lifting for you. So let me show you how to do this. So notice on my screen, I've designed a very, very simple data flow. I have an Azure SQL database source. I'm just pulling incremental changes from a table. I'm just storing those as a text file in my blob store. So you add a data flow that looks something like this with an Azure SQL database source to your pipeline. And then in the source transformation in your data flow, you'll go to source options. Under source options, there's a, there's a property called enable incremental extract. This is in public preview. If you check that box, you will then be prompted for a timestamp field in your source table. So for me, it's called underscore last updated, and that'll work just fine for this demo. And I also want to say, go ahead and start from scratch, start over, uh, load all the data from that table, and then we'll do the incremental changes and we'll test that here in the pipeline. All right, let me save that change. And while that's uh, getting ready to execute, let me show you the table. So here is the database table. It's DIM products. It's from the AdventureWorks um, data warehouse, and there are 301 rows. All right, so let's go back to the data factory. And on my CDC pipe one, all I have is that data flow that is going to execute the incremental change feature within data factory. Let's go ahead and debug. Let's execute this. Now we should get all 301 rows because we are starting over. This is the first time that we're running it. So let's go ahead and let's look at the activity details of this execution. Okay, and you can see that 301 rows were written. So it pulled all the rows from the database table. Now, if we go back to the pipeline and we execute this again, when it completes, you'll see this time no rows are written because there have been no updates to that column in that table since the last time that I ran this, which was just a few seconds ago. Okay, so let's go back over to my database table in Azure SQL database, and let's update one of the rows with a current timestamp. Query the table again, and we'll see we still have 301 rows. We did not insert or delete any rows, but we did update the timestamp for the last updated on product ID 737, so we should now have one row. So if we go back into Data Factory and we execute this pipeline again, let's go into the monitoring, and you see that one row was picked up. From the source. I didn't need to do anything. I just checked the box and said, just give me the incremental changes. So it's limited currently to uh, timestamp uh, based and it is um, um, watermark based, but it should still be very useful for you for tables that have uh, the ability to be able to query based on that. And there you have it. That's it. Super easy. That's how you can load incremental changes from your Azure SQL database tables with Data Factory. Thanks for watching.